Hey guys, it's Mark here from Illuminated Balustrade Australia. We're here today to show you how easy it is to install our three-part Spartan system. So first, we're gonna start with the first part of our system, which is our light kit. So what I'll do is I'll just show you the bits and pieces that come with our light kit so you can kind of get your head around how easy it is to do things. Obviously, we have our main lead, which plugs into your normal 240 volt. That's got a little transformer here, which diverts the power down to 12 volts. We have a little RBG controller here, which comes with the RBG pad, so then you can change colours of the glass later. We have 16 extension leads, roughly 200 mil long. We have 16 LED um, low voltage lights that come with the pack. And we also have 24 metres of cable with T-junctions every 1.5 metres. So what we've done with our Spartan lighting kit, we've made it as easy as possible so either you can do it at home or you can get a professional to do it. So we call it a plug and play system. So you have a, a, a female end on this side and a male end on this side. So what we've done is we've made it so there's a flat spot in both parts. It's as simple as putting one inside the other and then just tightening that little knob and then that seals that off. So that's the 240 volt coming down to the 12 volt. From the 12 volt, we then get another cable, which again has a plug and play system. This, you'll see, has four prongs. So once again, you find the flat spot on each. Once again, install it. Tighten it and you're ready to go. From there, we have our T-junctions. So our T-junctions, as I said, are at every 1.5 metre intervals. On your T-junctions, it's really important not to forget to put your extension lead, and I'll explain this a bit more later on. So once again, it's really important you've got a flat spot and a flat spot. You find those two points, put them in, tighten it off, and the whole system's ready to go. So you do that for all 16 points. A very important part of our Spartan system is our spigot. It's a fantastic design we've come up with, it's a patented. Um, it's got a little hole in the middle here. It's not just a normal spigot that you buy off the shelf. Obviously you get a spigot, you get a cover plate, you get a packer, we've got a little hole in there so it actually goes into our spigot only. And then you get a couple of wedges, which we can put in the glass and I'll show you a bit later. And also a very important, very important item was this little bit of stainless steel which already comes with a double sided piece of tape. You literally just rip that tape off as I'm gonna show you. And that fits into that side. And the reason why that's so important, with our, when we do our spigot, when we tighten it for our little grub screws here, we can't tighten and put pressure onto a, a normal piece of plastic. So we have to have something solid in there so that the pressure is always spanning across a bigger piece of glass, not just in the one area. So if you have a look at a normal spigot, you can see that it's got no hole in it. It's solid at the bottom. So people will think, okay, well I'm just gonna buy a normal spigot Drill a hole in it, put a light in the bottom. Do not do that. If you drill a hole in this spigot, you will weaken the structure of this item and therefore it's not certified. So it's really important not to do that because otherwise you compromise the structure of, and integrity of your whole pool fence. A real important part of our spigot also is that it's got an earth point. So with all spigots now, the Australian standard requires them to have an earth point. As you can see, it's already located on the base of our spigot. It's been pre-welded, so you don't have to muck around with it at home. It's already done for you. Prior to installing the Spartan system and the spigots, it's really important that the subfloor is built correctly. When on top of a deck, obviously we have two joists, which are 450 apart normally on centres. And then at the end of those, where we're going to run or wherever the glass is going to be, it's really important we have triple blocking. So I'll show you why. As you can see, the spigot, the mounting points need to be located above that triple blocking so you get a solid point to fix. So that's really, really important. Now that we come to the most exciting part, the actual install. So as you can see along here, we've already pre-pulled our wires up through the deck. And prior to doing that, we had to drill holes where those wires are gonna come out. So it's a simple drill and a spade bit. Always ensure that your spade bit is around 22 mil, so it's bigger than the light fitting, and I'll show you that a little bit later on. So the set out of our glass panels is really important. 
and where we put our spigots obviously is just as important. So what I do is a simple little method. You grab a piece of Tasmanian oak or a bit of hardwood, it doesn't really matter. Make sure it's the same thickness as your glass, which is in this case is 12 mil, and you cut it to length. So in this case, our glass is 1.2 or 1200 long. So it's a simple little method that I use to make sure all the spigot settings correct. Just put the Tassie hardwood in there, remembering it's the same thickness as your glass. So our spigot setting on this one, from the outside edge of the spigot, is 150. Now this will change, obviously, depending on the piece of glass that you use. And then with your drill, just make sure it's on a chuck setting so you don't put too much pressure on it. Just tighten that up. The same with the other sides, bring that into 150 mil. Once again, just tighten that up. And there we have our spigot set out with a template for our piece of glass. Now it's really easy. As you can see, I've already pre-done the other two and there's one piece already in there. So with my third piece, I'm just gonna put this in place roughly over the hole, just to double check everything. So as you can see, we can emulate our gapping as well if we want to, to make sure it's all spot on. And that's the easiest and quickest way to set out your glass. So once we've got our timber templates and spigots in the right position, what we do is just go along and mark one side of these. So then we know where the outside edge is. Always do the outside edge so you don't get confused. Now I know where all my spigots and glass are gonna go. It's really easy. What I just go along and do is loosen the bottom screw on all our spigots. Remove the hardwood. Take out the packers of each. And remember, we've made a mark so we can remove the spigot because the mark's there now. And if you remember back in our lighting install, we had a little extension lead coming off the main T-joint. This is why this part's really important, because this part here will be coming up through the base of our spigot. You can just see it's poking its head out just inside there. So a really important part of our set out is the string line. So as you can see what we've done here, we already know where our spigots are located because we've marked them on the deck, but using a string line, we've mounted it at one end and fixed it at the other, and the front edge of our spigot literally follows that string line, so it's perfectly straight. So now we come to the actual install of the spigot onto the deck. So as we know, we've put our string line there. If prior to taking our string off, we marked all the edges, so we know exactly where our spigots go, even if we should move them. So what we need is we need a drill, with a drill bit obviously, and then we need a, what we call a rattle gun in the industry that's got a, a, basically a square drive on the edge to square drive our 100 mil screws in. So I'll show you a quick and easy way to install these spigots. So hold the spigot tight. Just make a slight indentation in your deck. Try to make sure it's the centre of the hole and keep the drill as straight as possible. If it moves, you know you've got the line there. So it's easy to relocate. Now you can remove your spigot. You've made the four points. Just go back now. Keep the drill straight. And that's that easy. We've got the blocking underneath so we know that the screws are going to be fixed into blocking, not just into the decking board. So now we're going to install our spigot onto our deck, but before we start, I'll give you a little tip. The hex head bits that you can get come in various sizes. Don't use the small one. Make sure you go out and buy yourself a longer one, and I'll show you why. Because when you fix the spigot to the deck, you want to make sure you're driving it in straight, and the only way to do that is to keep your drill straight. If you've got a small one, the drill head is going to hit the side of the spigot, and either scratch it or give you a crooked screw. And that's how easy it is to fix the spigot. So if you remember back at the start, we had our light going to our extension lead point and our extension lead going to our T-junction. So this is all under deck now. So as you can see, our Spartan spigots are already mounted. So by just fitting the light in the top there, should the globe ever blow, that's very simple. What we do is we literally get a screwdriver because we've got two little 
mounting points on each side, and we can flick the light out as you can see like that. We can pull the light up, pull it to the point where the extension cable is, undo it, change it, change the globe. We don't have to pull the whole deck apart to change one light globe. As you can see, we've mounted all our spigots now. We line them up with the string line. We knew exactly where they go. But prior to actually fastening them, we wanted to make sure all the lighting worked. Always double check your lighting. Make sure it's wired correctly and everything's spot on. So what we do, we just turn it on to start with. And as you can see, all the colors are the same, which is exactly what we want. If the colors are different, that means you put the plug and play system in the wrong way. So just go back, find the one that's wrong, turn it around, put the plug and place in system incorrectly and you should come back to all the colors. So with our little RBG controller here, we can change to any color we want, just simply by a touch of a button. So now we know all our lights work and our spigots are straight, ensure you put your cover plates on before fitting the glass. Now you slide over the top, it covers all your screws. Now it's time to fit the packers and the glass. We're up to our final step before we install our glass. We have to put our pack in, if you remember. So what we're gonna do is make sure our grub screws are out most of the way. So by doing that, just put your finger inside, put your drill on reverse, let them come out a bit, just until you feel them disappear inside. With your packer, as you can see, it wants to fold in. So just give it a bit of a flex, fold it out, and you can see it looks like a V. That will make it easy to install, because it'll wanna be pushed out and when you slip your glass in, it won't be folding inwards. So now we're ready to install our glass. Now we've put our glass panels in place, it's time to reflect. If you remember, we use these 12 mil by 1200 mil pieces of hardwood, which are exactly the same size as the panels, to set up our spigots and our glass. Now it's easy to do our final install. So remember, we undid the grub screws, now we wanna make sure we do them up. So make sure you got your drill on a soft chuck setting, we don't want to crack the glass. So as you can see, our panels haven't lined up and we've tightened up the bottom. That's where the additional packers come into play. What we do is we loosen these off a bit. And if you remember in our initial pack, we had a couple of different size packers. So we get one of the packers, we want to make the glass go back. So this is the tapered packer, it's thicker at one end than the other. So we have to work out which way we put that. So I want the thicker part at the top to push the panel back. Once the packer's back in place, we can re-tighten the screws. Now we've lined up all our glass panels, it's time to turn the lights on and see what it looks like. Now we're switched on the lights, as you can see, it's nothing short of spectacular. Not only do we get a great illumination at night, but by flicking the switch on our RGB controller, we can give you numerous colours to choose from. And if you want a disco, just press the button. If you want a party mode, do the same thing. As we pan across to our last panel, we've etched a tree design. But let your imagination run wild. From brands and logos to customised graphics, the choice is yours. From the team from Illuminated Balustrade, we'd like to thank you for watching our easy install video and we hope to see the Spartan spigot in your backyard soon. The Illuminated Balustrade Spartan system completes any backyard and as we say, brings your glass to life.